Hello everyone and welcome back to more of the World Cup of Wrestling. We are here in Group G for the final match of Round 2 of Group G. We have got Brazil's Cesar Bononi going up against Switzerland, Claudio Castagnoli. It's a very Oli um, match this one. Oni versus Oli. Well, this is a massive one here for Claudio because he lost his opening match against Khan of Cameroon. Whereas Cesar Bononi got the win in his first one against King Constantine. And I think, yeah, if this is a win for Bononi, this group is done. If Bononi wins this one, then Khan and Cesar Bononi are through. And them two will fight in the final match of the group to decide who finishes top and who finishes second. However, if Claudio can win here and defeat King Constantine, then it will be Claudio that goes through. But I think no matter what happens now, I think Khan is through. I'm pretty sure Khan is through. No matter what happens here. So it's all down now to, uh, to Claudio, basically. He's got the world against him. He's got to win these two matches in a row. To qualify for the next round. And first of all, I think the, the King Constantine one is going to be tricky because of how big and solid King Constantine is. But it's also going to be um, maybe easy at the same time because of the lack of experience King Constantine has compared to Claudio who's been wrestling for so many years and... Wow, look at this by Benoni. What on earth was that collection of maneuvers? There's the pin by Benoni. Not quite enough. Benoni now drops Claudio face first. And Bononi doing incredibly well. And uh, Bononi really dominating this one, to be honest. Look at this. Showcasing his strength. Maybe a little bit too much showing off, maybe? Is that a risk? As once again, taking him up onto the shoulder. In with that power slam. Bononi now, big boot across the chest. Claudio, though, with a boot in the face of Cesar Bononi. Now Claudio going to drag him away from the ropes. What is the plan here? Claudio has the leg hooked and, oh, just slamming knee into the mat. That's incredibly painful. Claudio with a strike around the back and now up on the shoulders. In with that big spin. Look at the strength. That's incredible. There's the pin. One, two. Oh, it's only a two count. Unbelievable, Jeff. Claudio now brings Cesar Bononi back up to a standing base. Looking for that bear hug. Bononi fighting back with the elbows into their head. And now Bononi in with a backbreaker. Over the top. And Claudio clotheslines Bononi to the outside. Claudio now watching. Waiting. Deliberating. Wow. I must admit, whoever's made this Clau uh, this um, Cesar Bononi core has, has had some really interesting um, movesets, to be honest. I've not even seen some of this stuff as Claudio, I think, might have just rocked him with a bit of a poke in the eye. Lovely drop kick. Cesar Bononi now taking Claudio up on the shoulders. Claudio now in with the gut wrench suplex. And this is an interesting one. It's really 
at the moment could go either way. I thought Claudio would definitely have this. Especially how desperate he is for these points. Desperate he is for this victory. I thought he'd be dominating this a lot more. But Cesar Bononi, who again, I suppose for Cesar, he's got to win this one to qualify, hasn't he? There's me saying about, I mean, who's Cesar's final match against? And it's against Khan, isn't it? Um, so, no, there is a possibility Khan might not qualify then, actually. If, um... If Claudio wins here, then Claudio beats Constantine. That puts him on two points. If Cesar loses here and then beats Khan, that puts him on two points and Khan will be on two points. And that obviously will then cause the uh, the issue. Okay. What are you leaning against? I have no idea. Well done, game. Well done. So, yeah. I mean, Khan is not completely through. I think for, for Khan's point of view, I think a Cesar Bononi win is probably what he does want. But then again, Cesar struggling here. He's glitched up against something. And this looks like... No, he's not glitched. He was just out of it. And he's too... Oh, my God. He made it just in before the 10. Wow. Talk about cutting it tight. My word. Claudio now gets taken up and drops spine first across the apron. And Cesar Bononi working this over. This is insane at the moment. So much action. This really could go either way at this point. Claudio now with the arm breaker. Claudio now brings Cesar up, but I think is he working him over again? Is he looking to try and take him out again? Six. Referee starts the count. No, Claudio deciding against going for the count out this time. I think he realised last time all he did was he gave Bononi 10 seconds of recuperation. So it possibly wasn't the wisest manoeuvre they could have gone for, to be honest. Now, the mad thing is, I mean, this is going to give you an indication when I'm recording this, but um, this match in real life has just kicked off. Brazil versus Switzerland has just kicked off in real life for me. And I think in real life, it's, it's hard to see anything but a dominant Brazil victory. And in the game, for me, it was easy to see anything but... But it was difficult to see anything but a dominant Swiss victory. But then again, look how uh, tight this match has been. And could Claudio get counted out now? Claudio's still rocked. The referee's at an eight count. Come on, Claudio. Shake the cobwebs, Claudio. Come on. Why is this game like this? Claudio, stop wobbling. There's the nine and Claudio is back in the ring just in time. Claudio now round the back. Taking Benoni up on the shoulders. In with a big power slam. Boot in the spine as well. Claudio stalking the grounded Cesar Benoni. Looks like he's going to go for a neutralizer. There's the pin. Will that be enough for the one, two? And oh my god, it's not. How is that not enough? Come on, guys. Somebody pull your finger out. I'm bursting for a pee here. Cesar Bononi brings Claudio back up to a standing base. Has him throttled. Looking for the choke slam. Claudio fought back. Claudio now with that double arm with a butterfly suplex. Claudio now drags Bononi away from the corner. Not very well, but he does finally get there. I think he may have been considering going for the swing there. Not to be the case. 
Benoni once again has Claudio throttled. There's the big choke slam. Has Benoni done it? Will he eliminate Claudio Castagnoli? One of the favourites to win the entire tournament. No! Claudio able to kick out on the brink of a free count. Benoni now wrenching back at the arm of Claudio. Lovely capture German by Cesar Benoni, who now looks again for that choke slam. Takes him up again, and there it is. The second time in the match that could be enough for the one, the two. Oh my God, Claudio had the ropes. The referee didn't see it. Wow. Switzerland and Claudio Castagnoli have just been done over by poor refereeing. Cesar Bononi wins the match. Moves up to a zero. Claudio, who I still have not put in here, have I? Um, Cesaro. Uh, he loses the match. That's devastating for him. He should have won that, Claudio. Well, not should have won it, but he shouldn't have been counted. That should not have been a free count. He had a hold of the bottom rope. The referee was at the wrong angle. Didn't see it. But this now means, no questions asked, Khan and Cesar Bononi are through to the next round. Uh, both Claudio Castagnoli and King Constantine will both face off in the final matches basically just for a bit of saving face because they're both out. So there we go. Claudio Castagnoli, one of the favourites for the entire tournament, has been eliminated already. Wow, that is a big boost to a lot of other people in this World Cup who have just seen their chances of victory <laughs> go much higher than they once were. Anyway, we're going to love you and leave you. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Of course, if you have, hit the like, subscribe, leave a good stuff, and I'll see you again tomorrow for the final two matches of the second round of matches, which will be coming from Group H as Aldo Montoya of Portugal takes on Uruguay's El Fuego and Ghana's Kofi Kingston goes up against Ricky Dozan for Korea. Good night, God bless, Alvida Sane. Tati buys. <laughs>